Today we're diving into a real-life mystery that dates back over 150 years. A story of a teenage girl, Esther Granger, who is now known as the Girl in the Wall, whose skull was shockingly discovered behind a wall in a house in Batavia, Illinois, nearly a century after her death. Imagine finding human remains behind your wall during a renovation, bones lost to time, yet now telling a story that reaches across generations. So, here's what we know, reported less than a week ago, shocking the nation. Back in 1978, a couple in Batavia decided to remodel their home. Little did they know they'd stumble upon a human jawbone within the walls, quickly followed by a skull fragment. Authorities were called, and investigators initially tried to trace the origins of these remains, but the mystery would go cold. The fragments ended up in a local museum, out of sight, out of mind, and the questions were forgotten. Fast forward to 2021. During a museum audit, Esther's skull resurfaced, reigniting the mystery. It was then sent to experts at Othram, a forensics lab in Texas that specializes in DNA genealogy. And finally, through DNA matching, the identity of this skull was confirmed. Esther Granger, a 17-year-old girl from Merrillville, Indiana, who died in 1866 from complications during childbirth. Now here's where it gets even stranger. Esther was buried in Indiana. She'd never been to Batavia in her lifetime. So how did her skull end up there? The theory is that grave robbers, possibly to supply medical study or experiments, stole her remains from her grave in Indiana, then sold her skull. Grave robbing was unfortunately common in the 19th century, as medical knowledge was expanding, but bodies were scarce for study. The DNA testing that led to Esther's identification involved tracing her descendants, and they found a match in her great-great-grandson. Imagine the shock for that family, discovering an ancestor story in such a dark and unexpected way. Her descendant's DNA helped bring some closure to this mystery, and Esther's skull has finally been laid to rest with dignity in a cemetery in Batavia with city support. Yet, while we know who Esther was and even how she died, some mysteries remain unsolved. Why was her grave desecrated? Who took her remains and why hide them in a wall? And perhaps the most haunting question, are there other stories like Esther's waiting to be uncovered? Esther's case is a reminder of how the past can reach out and touch the present. Her story, silent for so long, now speaks to us about life, death, and the respect we owe to those who came before. It's chilling, yes, but also shows how history and technology combined to finally give a voice to the girl in the wall. Let me know your thoughts. How does Esther's story resonate with you? And do you think there are more hidden histories like hers just waiting to be told? If you're as fascinated by stories that reveal secrets from the past, be sure to subscribe. Alongside historical mysteries like Esther's, we specialize in true crime commentary, riveting police interrogations, and every twist that makes solving crime mysteries unforgettable. Join us and don't miss a single story. Subscribe now to Southern Confidential to stay part of the family of crime solvers.